afternoon, everyone. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Rich Bryant. I am the very proud athletic director at Loveland High School. I will start with this is probably the highlight for me every year. I get to do it three times. And what it amounts to is there's been a lot of time, a lot of effort, some ups, some downs to get our kids to the position where they have the ability to participate at the collegiate level. For some of you, this has been 10, 12, 15 years in the making when you put a racket in a hand, when you're driving them all over the United States to do whatever it is they do, training, this, that. It's, it's amazing what kids are asked to do and what parents are asked to do at this point. But today's kind of an end point. We get to celebrate what they've done. They've paid the ultimate price and they get to compete at the collegiate level. So before I roll through each of our kids, I want to say congratulations to everyone here. Congratulations. Now, today, what we will do, we will call individual student athletes up. Here's your warning. If you're taller than me, and most of you are, watch your knees when you sit down, because not only will we have it on video, when you knock the table forward, you fall back and knock the curtain over. I will play it repeatedly out on the television on the, in the hallway, but we'll make a memory there. So be careful. Olivia, be careful. So without further ado, I'd like to call up our first senior, Max Jody. You can sit in the middle, OK? Just watch your knees, OK? Ladies and gentlemen, Max Jody is joined today with his parents, Chuck and Jennifer Jody. Max is committed to play tennis at Ohio Wesleyan University. Max has been competing in the USTA tournaments for the past 10 years and played for Loveland High School for the last three. Over this time period, Max has won nearly 250 matches and 18 tournament titles. He is currently ranked 29th in Ohio and 908th in the United States within his graduating class. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Jody. That's it. You get to keep this. You can, you can sign it if you'd like. You cannot sign it. It's your day, man. Or if you have your real papers, you can sign it. That's, this is official. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Jody. Ladies and gentlemen, Cole Kerrigan will continue his baseball career at Mount St. Joseph University. Cole currently holds a 3.8 grade point average. He is a three-year varsity starter, Reds High School Showcase MVP, and starting pitcher in 2021, in addition to being ECC honorable mention in 2022. Cole also plays for the Cincy Flames travel team and played basketball at Loveland High School for three years. Ladies and gentlemen, Cole Kerrigan. Our next signee is Owen Huang. <laughs> Owen, watch your knees. Owen will continue his volleyball career at Baldwin Wallace University. Currently, Owen is sitting with a, a 4.045 grade point average. He was a first team all ECC selection, honorable mention all Southwest Ohio, and he has two Open tournament gold medals. Is that right, Owen? Did I say that right? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Owen Wing. <laughs> it's not official. <laughs> That's not going to cost you any money, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Congratulations, bud. Our next signee is Olivia Raby. She gets a kick out of that. <laughs> Watch your knees, rabies. Watch your knees. Sure. No, because then I'll look really short at it. No. Ladies and gentlemen, Olivia Raby will continue her basketball career at Huntington University. 
Currently, Olivia is sitting with a grade point average of 4.2. Her accomplishments are ECC Defensive Player of the Year, ECC First Team, East-West All-Star Participant, District 16 First Team, four-year varsity letter winner, two-year team captain. In addition, she's, a she's on the student athlete leadership team, she's mentor, she's a swim coach at Kids First, and she's in National Honor Society and FCA. Ladies and gentlemen, Olivia Raby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Caden Dyer will continue his cross country and track career at the University of Virginia. Currently, Caden sitting with a 3.991 grade point average. His accomplishments include four-year cross-country varsity letter winner, three-time first-team All-ECC, three-time state qualifier, three-year track varsity letter winner, one-time first-team All-ECC for track, two-time state qualifier in track, and she, he was a member of the state championship 4x800 team last spring. In his spare time, He dabbles in FCA, Loveland Young Life, rec, baske rec basketball. <laughs> Coach Nestor know about that? And he's a member of the Ski and Snowboard Club. Ladies and gentlemen, Caden Dyer. <laughs> Paul Hawker, Jr. Watch your knees. Watch your knees. Watch that carpet. Watch your knees. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Hawker Jr. is escorted today by his father, Paul Hawker Sr. Paul will continue his football career at Culver Stockton College. Now, I don't always get to do this, but I'm going to tell, I got your permission to tell a story. I'm new, and I don't know all of the kids, and that, that's probably the hardest part for me. But something that stands out in my first few months here was seeing my man rumbling, stumbling on the fumble recovery with a big smile on his face, just praying nobody caught him. <laughs> we won't talk about what happened, but it is my pleasure to see this young man off to a collegiate spot. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Hawker, Jr. Here, you can't ever say I didn't give you anything. Good job, man. <laughs> you could see him smiling through his face mask. Our next signee is Quinn Jenkins. Congrats, man. Watch your knees. Watch your knees. Watch your knees. Somebody's going to knock it over. Shh. Ladies and gentlemen, Quinn Jenkins will continue his football career at Hanover College. Quinn currently is sitting with a 4.394 grade point average. He's a two-year varsity starter, three-time All-ECC, All-Academic team member, and won Most Improved Award in his senior year. Quinn also is a member of National Honor Society, Tiger Talk Club, Fantasy Football Club, and he throws discus for Loveland High School. Ladies and gentlemen, Quinn Jenkins. Congratulations. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Thank you. Our next rock star is Alex Nunn. <laughs> hey. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex. Nunn will continue her lacrosse career at Thomas More University. Currently, Alex is sitting with a 4.43 grade point average. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Absolutely. Her accomplishments include, she's varsity captain, she's been athlete of the week, all ECC, all conference first team, and region four second team, and she scored her hundredth goal against Le Lebanon earlier this week.
This list is pretty impressive. Other activities include Adaptive PE Mentor, SALT Member, Marble Club, National Honor Society, Volunteer at the League of Animal Welfare, Server at Tohona Kitchen and Bar, College Credit Plus Student, I didn't know if I could say that, I froze up, sorry. <laughs> College Credit Plus Student and Academic Hall High Honor Roll. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Nunn. If you've not been to a girls lacrosse game, she's, she's energy in a bottle. Oh, oh, good gravy. It is fun to watch, aren't you? Our last signee today is Noah Lee. Watch your knees. No one's knocked it over yet. Ladies and gentlemen, Noah Lee will continue his soccer career at Wil Wilmington College. Noah currently sits with a 3.8 grade point average. He played varsity soccer for three years, captained his senior year, and led the team in goals and assists during his senior year. Other activities include, Noah is involved in National Honor Society, FCA. He volunteers every Wednesday at the Care Center at North Star Church. Ladies and gentlemen, Noah Lee. <laughs> 